What's up everybody, I'm with Ryan Mills and we're gonna talk about hand plants. So I think it was around 2003, you started doing these 180 hand plants off things. I had never seen anything like it before. And I recall you telling me a really interesting story that I don't know if I believe or not about how you got the idea to do it. Yeah. So uh, do you still stand by that story and can you tell it to us? Oh, I stand by it. It's a true story. Uh, I will tell you about it. Yeah, for sure. So I was doing a lot of like hand plants over spines, 180 hand plants over spines back in the day. And one day I was down in Austin, I think 2003 or 2002, one of those. Um, and Dirty Dan and I drove like two hours to some skate park like indoor skate park in a car that had like an exhaust leak in it. And so I was breathing in like pure exhaust fumes and was like super like had super light head. And I don't know if that really has a lot to do with the story, but it could have maybe invented it. And after the skate park session, we were outside in the parking lot and there was a, a parking block next to a grass hill, like coming out of the parking lot. And I was just like messing around still. and. I was like, I'm going to try and hand plant this parking block and like got kind of close to it. it was, like there was like no chance I was going to like land it, but that like stood out in my head. Like I could like drop down and do that almost. And so uh, about a month later, I was back in Vegas at the YMCA skate park and was like just there for a few hours and bored and looking at this uh, little corner at the skate park in the bowl. I was like, oh, I wonder if I could uh, hand plant into this. So. I took a couple runs at it, kind of like threw my bike a few times and then like just held on one time and like landed it into the bowl corner and rolled away. And I was like, oh shit, that worked. That was awesome. <laughs> so I had definitely never seen anything like it at the time. And I remember you telling me about it before you did it and being like, this doesn't add up in my head, but I'm going to go ahead and roll with it in case you want to do it. I'll point the camera. So I'm, I'm glad it worked out. But did anybody else claim to have seen something similar before, or is this all your strange gas fume powered invention? I'm pretty sure I was the first to do it. Um, the only thing, I don't know like the timing on it, but Neil Harrington did it in his props bio over a rail into like a grass bank. I remember seeing that and that was crazy. That was, that was different though, cause he hopped. Yeah, he hopped and it was like, kind of like, I don't know, it's like, it's a different trick for sure, but yeah, I think the closest thing that I had to doing that was maybe going over uh, sub, sub rail. So you learn the 180 hand plant drop, you do it at the YMCA park. Now this was long before the internet, so I feel like people didn't see that for a while. What was that clip for? I, I, don't, I don't think it was for anything. I don't think it, I, we used it in anything. But the, the first time people saw it was, was probably half a year later. The Dew Tour or Triple Crown, one of the two in Huntington Beach. I went to the contest and I was just like, I think I was on premium by then and was just doing them dropping to the quarter. I remember everyone like kind of freaking out, like Robbo and Nyquist and a few people were like, what the hell was that? You know, and uh, so during like best trick, I did a manual to 180 hand plant drop in and it took me like quite a while to land it. I ended up getting like second place for that and winning some money, which was awesome back then. Well, that, that was in a magazine too, right? So yeah, that was a sequence in the ride BMX magazine. So that's like the first time people saw it, like I, I'm pretty sure. So in your premium video part, which I believe was 05, 06? 05, I think we were filming 05. So you did the one, I believe it was your last trick before the basketball clip. <laughs> yeah. You did the one off the, um, you did the one off the loading dock. Was that the first one ever on street? Yeah, that was the first one. It, it, I think it came to me, we were right, the clip right before that. I do a transfer wall ride, come up the quarter, 180 hand plant into like a little mini ramp. And I remember my back tire landing really low and it just like almost like completely flat. And I was just like, oh, I think this will work off a ledge. So I think the next day we went out and uh, I think it was like first thing we went to the loading dock and just like tried it. It wasn't like a very tall loading dock, so it didn't like look that great, but it was definitely the first one. And uh, that was, yeah, the almost banger for premium video. 
Your story isn't a secret that you decided to do a lot of drugs and kind of ruin your life for a while, time in jail, yeah. um, and then you kind of have this triumphant comeback, you're riding bikes good again. Was it difficult or weird to almost relearn this trick? Because there was probably a 10 plus year hiatus, you didn't do this. Yeah, I mean, I was doing it so much that it was just like still in my brain. I just needed my body to catch back up to it because I was pretty weak. And when I first came back, my bone density was shit. So I broke my wrist like pretty severely and had to get surgery and had like a, a weak wrist for like a good two years, like I'm coming back. And then I just kept having like, Brad Sims kept bugging me on Instagram. He's like, let me see the hand plan off the loading dock. Let me see the hand plan off the loading dock. Eventually I, I mustered up the courage and did it. it. didn't take too long. So now I see you doing them on a consistently be on cool spots i see some some manuals into them some kind of creative different things do you feel like i mean you have to feel like now you're better at them than you were in your first life oh yeah the, yeah i have them way more dialed now could be the geometry of the bike could be like i'm doing them off taller things having more time to do it but it's just like it feels way easier now now what do you think the possibilities are with this trick i mean it's you've been doing it so long and it seems like you, you can tweak it a little bit here and there, do a manual into it, but like, can you do it in a three? Can you do it with like a, a legit half cab type of thing? Like, is there anything that you see as possible with this trick that you haven't uncovered yet that you hope to? Yeah, I was, wor I was working on the half cab uh, 180 hand plant off of a loading dock. And then uh, literally in two the same two week period, I saw edit with uh, that dude, Declan uh, Murray. Declan. Declan yeah. Murray do it off of a loading dock off of a half cab which was pretty sick i was like really psyched to see that i also do want to do like a three 180 hand plant i just need the right spot three 180 hand plant so a 540 hand plant three 180 hand plant <laughs> 360 hand plant off of a drop so i think of other people i've seen doing them um i think this first person i saw do it that wasn't you was alex valentino um I remember he did some really cool stuff with it. And I know he at least tried a three. I don't think he pulled it, but I know he at least tried a three and I could be wrong about that. Um, and then there was kind of a big gap when nobody really did it. Declan Murray does some really cool stuff with them. Um, Eric Elstrin did one in the X Games part. Is there anybody else you've really seen do it? It seems like even though this trick has been around for almost 20 years at this point, it still isn't like, you, you still, when you see it, people are like, oh, that was interesting and different and cool. Yeah. Um, it's like a niche trick, kind of. So a lot of people will hit me up and ask me how to do it. And it's hard to explain how to do it. You kind of just have to do it. Um, a lot of people have been telling me they want to try it. I've seen a few edits where like there's someone doing the 180 hand plant off of a you know in a street spot, but I don't remember who it was. I don't remember the edit, but it's it's being done a little bit. I think it's kind of coming on a little bit stronger now, which is crazy because it's 20 years later. So. so do you take any sort of pride in that? Like this is something I created and now it exists and you see it elsewhere or do you just not really care and it is what it is? I, I mean, yeah, it's something that I kind of came up with and did first, which is cool. And I, every time I see someone else do it, I'm just like so hyped that someone's doing it because it's just like, it's, it's like a big compliment to me, I think. You've done a lot of these over the years. What's your favorite one? Oof, let me think. I think the... I did one when quarantine kind of started in LA at the Staples Center, like manual up the little round ledge thing to 180 hand plant. And that, that was like by far like my favorite one because it was just like, I hadn't done a manual 180 hand plant since that contest in a do tour in like 03 or 04 or whatever. And so I did it and it, it worked pretty quickly, pretty fast. So I was like super psyched and it looked pretty good too. So definitely that one. Any words of advice for uh, the BMX world for those that want to try it? Just do it. I would say do it over a spine first because that's you're going to get the feeling of it. And then, you know, just send it. Just put your hand down. Be a man or a woman. Well, that's it. Cool. We're done. You good? Good. Call it, call it a day. Cool. I got to get back to work. <laughs>